Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the tower defense game series. This is part 6 and today we're going to be working on the turret and some other things. So first of all, we have a bug in our program. If we set money to 1000 in our stage just to test some things, if we can buy one turret, you can see it only goes down by 40, but if we buy another one, it goes down by 120. And the reason this is happening is because there are multiple clones in Sprite 4 that are listening for this message and they're creating the clone many times which would reduce the money multiple times and that's our problem if you didn't understand what I said don't worry about it just follow along and you'll be able to fix it so we only want to allow the main sprite to do it so we're gonna say one flag is clicked after the hide set clone ID to main and then in here we're going to say if and then we're gonna drag in an equal sign and we're gonna say if clone ID is equal to main only then will allow it to create a clone of myself we also need to set it back to main to make sure that it listens for another uh, receive of the message so now as you can see we can buy it once and it works it only reduces by 40 and then if we buy once again it also reduces by 40 so there we go, bug fixed, awesome. So the next thing we're gonna be working on is making it so that we can rotate the turret. So as you can see, when we bring the turret in, it only can point in one direction. And the problem here is that if you want it to, let's say face this way towards the start, instead of always facing to the right, you can't do that. So it's actually pretty easy to do that. What we need to do is in here, we need to add some scripts here. So in our controls, we're gonna say if and then we're gonna drag in a key right arrow is pressed. We are going to rotate to the right by 10 degrees. And likewise, if left is pressed, we wanna rotate the other way by 10 degrees. And so just like that, you can see that once we buy something, everything should be working, right? And you can see that now it will shoot that way. Another thing that's important is to make sure that this is centered. So what we can do is highlight it and make sure that the circle, the big circle, is in the center. There we go. Nice job, guys. So we also want to hide the variables, clone ID and turret direction, so it looks a bit more clean. And we can change this money back to 100. And I'd initially done this just to test some things out. All right, so now that we know that we can change the direction by using the arrow keys, we wanna let the user know that. So we're gonna create a sprite that's gonna tell the user how the game works and the controls they can use to rotate the turret. So I've already created a costume for this, so I'm gonna import it, but it's not too hard to create. Mine is called rotateinfo.svj. And just like that, we have that here. So we need to do some code here. So we're gonna create a new broadcast message and it's going to be called show rotate info and so what this is going to do is first of all we need to hide when the green flag is clicked because we only want to show this when you buy it and then we're going to show we're going to set ghost effect to 100 and then we are going to go to x negative 400 y zero and this could get a little bit confusing but it's just making a nice animation so just follow along repeat until what we want to do is drag in a less than we're going to put three on this side and drag in a subtraction on the left side and it's going to be negative 120 here and that's the x position we want to get to and we are going to drag this x position here and then inside the repeat until, what we wanna do is change ghost effect by negative 30, just like this. So the next thing to do after dragging in this looks block is we need to drag in a change x by, and when we are going to use this same negative 120 minus x position, but this time we're going to divide it by three. And this will show a nice smooth animation instead of one that's kinda uncomfortable and doesn't look right. So now that we have that, we are going to wait two seconds and then repeat five times, change ghost effect by 20. So as you just saw, this just happened. And if we have this and we click this right here, 
you can see it has a very nice animation to bring it in and tell the user how to rotate the turret. All right, awesome. The next thing we need to do is make sure that we're hiding after we have changed this ghost effect by 25 times. And we actually need to broadcast this message, show rotate info, whenever it is time, meaning whenever we buy the turret. So in here, along with broadcasting buy turret one, we wanna broadcast show rotate info. So just like that, whenever you buy it, it shows you the sign and you can drag it. Now the problem is when you buy another one, we don't want it to show twice. So we need to keep track of that in a variable. So we're gonna create a new variable and we're gonna call it shown rotate info with a question mark. Make sure it's a global variable by clicking for all sprites. And then in the backdrops, we are going to set this shown rotate info to false. And in here, we are going to have a if, and we are going to say if, and then drag in an equal, and say false on one side, and drag in the shown turret info on the other side. So only when, it's, only when we haven't shown it yet do we want to broadcast this message, and then we want to, whoops, wrong block, we want to set shown rotate info to true. And if you didn't understand that, do not worry. Basically all this does is it makes it so that it'll only show the message once. So we click here, it only shows this message once. And then if we click again, it won't show it. And as you can see, we have another problem right here. So what's happening is this is actually going in front of the shop, which we don't want. And the way to fix that is to go here and say, when I start as clone, go to back layer. There we go. So just like that, now if you place one here and you bring the shop up, it'll go behind. All right, that's gonna be it for this episode. We fixed some bugs, added a nice animation, and used the arrow keys to rotate. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.